Welcome, Proxy. Let us speak before we go inside. This is Elenglin, an alien ruin. I expected to find the recollection here, as they have been searching similar ruins throughout the area. They did not disappoint. I sense an aura of Daedric power as well. Perhaps that aura drew them here. Indeed. I sense an ancient Daedric shrine in the ruins. Okay, Although I have no, no, no I'm not with it anymore. It if we find the shrine, we may uncover the recollection's purpose here. Do you still have the Echonir, Proxy? I see you remember our adventures in the shrines of the good Daedra. I believe we may find important memories for the Echonir to reveal here as well. Watch for places where it can show us something, Proxy. Between the recollection and the dangers inherent in most ruins, I suggest caution. My research revealed that Elenglin contains a maze filled with deadly traps. We must reach the heart of the maze to find a way through. Okay. <sighs> I am ready when you are. Emmaus Mora knew he could not completely erase all knowledge of Athelia from the world. He locked away his own memories of her in glyphics hidden in Apocrypha. He created the Echonir to reveal any lingering memories of the Forgotten Prince. Okay. Between the Reckon Allen Glen, an alien ruin, most likely a temple or monastery. As you can see, little remains above ground. The vaults below are more extensive, or so I have read. Adventurers report dangerous monsters and traps within. Those who survived, anyway. I am hardly an alien scholar. I know they were called Wild Elves, and they established Tamriel's first empire. Their city-states were spread across much of this region, but their empire fell during the First Era. Much about them has been lost. Many Aeliads worshipped Daedric princes. Athelia may have been among them. When the Recollection began to remember Athelia, they remembered her as their god. I okay, think they are so that explains. For to Athelia. Mere speculation, but a logical guess. From what I have determined, they are a secret society with a keen interest in ancient ruins. The revival of an alien cult, perhaps. Our ally Baragon knows more. He recently tracked them to West Weald and has been looking into their activities. Baragon told me that the group was initially... ...did not know it. Now that Athelia is free, their actions are becoming more conspicuous. Shard Marshal Vargas. I am not familiar with that Daedric rank. We know they assisted Torvisard in his quest to remember the Forgotten Prince. Perhaps this Vargas is also connected to Athelia. No matter. It is evident we have more to learn, Proxy. Zone story, okay. N nice that you can now, now see which, which is part of the zone story. So let's do this and then side quests and more. If I sense the presence of Daedric power, the recollection likely noticed it as well. Okay. made it this far, but they have met some of Elenglin's dangers. Interesting dungeon here. Alien ruin. Get the tap.
some kind of defense basically. Explore. Luckily I'm in a, I'm playing Dynamo, so they don't burn that much much. Leonard's Nichols Journal. The deadly, the deadly ruins. Dark Belgians. Maze. Yep. Not only a maze, but a tomb. Careful. The Aliads were practitioners of necromancy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I was thinking why there's so many gadget uh, <laughs> skeletons, but then again, this is pretty close to uh, Elsevier. Not side of the Elsevier, so that isn't too far to go. Actually, pretty logical. Oh, okay. Watch out. You mean these head hunted? Penitent. Our way forward lies within proxy. We must find the key proxy. That guy went to the overdrive. Hero as Alessia deck fragment. Yeah. Alessian Rebellion started some around these areas. Again. Bookshelf with way to way to new books. The key must unlock these gates. Let us continue, Proxy. I sense that what we seek lies somewhere to the south. So I wonder who this is. In a, in a dungeon. We found the shrine. But who is. Oh, that is Athelia. Perhaps you can talk to her proxy. Uh, but, but what? What? Yeah. Let's take a picture. I do not recognize you, yet you seem familiar. Almost like this shrine. I know I should remember it, but I do not. Tell me, what is this place? Why am I drawn here? A Daedric Prince. Yes, I remember. That was what mortals called me. But Ellen Glynn is a proud citadel, not a 
crumbling ruin. Its people are wise and beautiful. They worship me. Wait. I sense... something. And another memory. Hermaeus Mora. The Echonir. Yes. That is what the Abyssal Cephaliarch called it. A clever little device he wrought to find and remove things that belonged to me. Thoughts, memories, truths he did not want anyone to know. Show me. I wish to see what it reveals. Let us see what more is. You risk everything, Ithilia. You must forsake the many paths. You seek to diminish my prince. Why should she agree to such a demand? To preserve reality. Her willfulness threatens all of existence. You let your fear control you and foresee an apocalypse that will never be. Depart, Mora! Ophelia disappeared as soon as the memory ended. Let us speak outside. Meritikera, when, when the time wasn't set. Let us review what we saw in the ruins, Proxy. Okay, so... Now it becomes clear. The Recollection also seeks Athelia. They hope to find her visiting places she once knew, just as we did. Yet Athelia seems confused. I do not think she has fully regained her memories or truly understands what happened to her. I believe we witnessed the moment Emmaus Mora first confronted Athelia about the danger she posed to reality. And we saw that she refused to heed him. It is a hard thing for any creature to change its nature, especially for a Daedric prince. <laughs> yeah. Impossible. One more piece of the puzzle remains, Proxy. You still need to investigate Ostomir, determine why the threads of fate there are frayed. When you are finished, find me at Baragon's townhouse in Skingrad. Care to earn some gold, adventurer? I could use a bit of assistance. I was hoping for a cohort of legionaries from Skingrad, but you'll have to do. Yep, I don't even they know are where to begin. <laughs> Our entire shipment of Blue Adril is gone, and my dear Lazen is still in there chasing down whoever attacked us. So what's a blue... what, 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 what was that? Beasts, rogues, a horrible buzzing, it all happened so fast. Legion's Rest has always been a safe place to spend the night. Ruri, my caravan master, confirmed as much when he scouted ahead. But look at us! Oh, stranger, I desperately need your help. The fate of my vineyard rests on that stolen shipment of Blue Adril. Recover the lost crates along with my dear Lazen, and evidence of whoever is responsible for this attack, and I promise to make it worth your while. Securing four crates of Blue Adril should be enough to keep our vineyard afloat. If we act fast, we might even find out how they knew to ambush us here. We traveled in secret, you know? And let's look for Lazen. I'd hate it if he were harmed. Too much jostling ruins Blue Adril, so we had to travel exceptionally slowly to reach the market. Legion's Rest has always been a safe place to stop. Ruri, my caravan leader, picked the location and our secret route personally. What's, what's Bo Bo Blue Adril? Blue Adril is the pride of my family's winery. It's aged for ten years in barrels made from the planks of Skingrad's first longhouse. This particular batch finally reached maturity. And we were taking it to market when we were set upon. They certainly seem to know what was in our wagon. But we closely guard all information regarding our aging process and routes to market. If we can learn how they knew to ambush us here, that would also help immensely. Oh, Lazen is a great many things. My head of security, my chief inspector, my groundskeeper, each role pivotal to the continued success of my vineyard and all the more reason we find him as quickly as possible. Also, he's my dear pet dog. Okay. 
dog. Now don't for a moment think that Lazen being a dog makes him any less important than the Blue Adriel. He didn't hesitate to try to protect me and the caravan. It's only right that we do everything we can to bring him back safely. Okay. Oh, my fragile heart. Oris is going back in there. Didn't she see the size of those terrible bugs? Keep a close eye on Orisa. She is a brave lady, but very headstrong. Don't know what Orisa expects to find. The bastards are likely gone by now. Nothing but a waste of time to search that cave. Sadly, I did not. When we came around the bend, there was this horrible buzzing sound, and then we were overrun. Before I knew what had happened, I was beaten to a pulp, and our assailants made off with our wine. I haven't a clue. Though, of course, I can't imagine the transportation of such a rare delicacy would catch the eye of many a thief. In truth, it was bound to happen eventually. It'd be best to just wash our hands of the loss and move on. It's worth a great deal, but is it worth our lives? I think we should consider ourselves lucky that we weren't mortally wounded in the attack. It's the little victories. Don't know what Orissa expects to find. All right, let's search this place out. I suppose the developers have a lot of <laughs> lot, lots of the work in, in, in a store to come up with a new plots for the dungeons and dells and like. I mean I mean we have seen a lot of lot of things already. Crystal check. Yeah. Crystal check. So they have lot, lots of flies in this place. Wait, is this Finland? Tread with caution. Yeah. So where is the vine? Lazen, is that you? I'm so happy you're. Dog. Over there. Okay. No, it's a blue, blue Adriel. Take that and drop on the side to find the last bottle. Except that. We can get 
get down from here. Shipment Diesel, Kilroy Vassanius. The next shipment of Blue Adral leaves in a week's time. I don't know if that happened or if it's got the road. Okay, so now we know who, who's the betrayer, Ruri, yeah. Okay, so now we know who's the betrayer. Good boy, Lazen. You are. Apologies for dashing off like that. Those horrible crystal jacks were really starting to unnerve me. Besides, I wanted to get Lazen to safety. Now, what was in that note you grabbed? Let me see that. Gilroy Vassinus? His family used to own a rival winery, but they went out of business years ago. Is that why he turned to banditry? Oh, and Rory? He's worked with us for years! If he needed money, he could have just asked me. He could have gotten us seriously hurt, killed even. And for what, gold? I'll have to turn him into the guards when we reach Skingrad. Then he'll spend some time in one of Count Calantius's dungeon cells. Oh, now we can finish our trek to market and sell the wine as planned. In addition to turning Rory over to the authorities, I'll also let the Legion know what's going on in these caves. You recovered my inventory when I thought all was lost. Thank you. Ma Maga Previntage said. So more, more damage. When you kill a monster at the burst with the blood magic. Okay, that was the blood, blood magic said. I can't believe Rory betrayed us. He could have gotten Lazen or the others killed. Rory, you scheming bastard! Why are you so mad? It's not like you can't make more wine. I trusted you! You... you... <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. We recovered the Blue Atrol. As always, as soon as we sell it, everyone will get a share of the profits. Everyone except Rory, that is. So there was such quest at the side.
gleaming mirror more shards. Macap Macap or Windage Screen Mosaic Skill Shred. Oh yeah, this is the new skill system. Shark porn style, nice. Anything good. Elf Betta the Shy. I wonder if I need to pick the pick up the quest before I can go to the dungeon. Oh my it's you! Good fortune for all of us! Narcissus Dren will be most pleased if you're the one to help him. <coughs> the noted explorer Narcissus Dren has gone to investigate the ruins of Wendia, and I fear he may be in trouble. He left some time ago to procure an alien relic, the emblem of the last king. Could you go and help him? He will reward your efforts. Find Narcissus and help him recover the emblem from Wendia. Here, let me mark it on your map. He had some Buddha for allies, but I do not trust them. My dear Narcissus is brilliant but impulsive and needs someone to protect him from his own enthusiasm. Ah! <sighs> I can tell you a little about the area, but I'm afraid full information on the task ahead should come from Narcissus Dren himself. Please, go seek him out. Ah, oh, yes! Vardenfell, wasn't yep. it? I feel more at ease knowing I can entrust Narcissus' well-being to a friendly, sympathetic soul. Nary a day passes when he is not off on some new adventure. I admire that in him. Always eager to move on to the next challenge, to the next wondrous historical site. I sometimes wish he would settle down, but life with him is always exciting. I can tell you a little about the area, but I'm afraid full information on the task ahead should come from Narcissus Dren himself. Please, go seek him out. You're unfamiliar with the great Narcissus Dren? Surely you've encountered his works at some point. Narcissus Dren and the Draga Dilemma? Narcissus Dren and the Well of Gold? Of course! Uh, but don't mistake him for a mere scrivener. He is a man with a penchant for ruins, a fondness for levers, and an appetite for adventure that would rival a sensuous hunger. I'm one of Narcissus Dren's devoted personal assistants. Uh -huh. Perhaps THE most devoted. Uh -huh. I compile his research, organize his travel plans, and transcribe his notes. I'm proud to serve such a gifted explorer. I can tell you a little about the area, but I'm afraid full information on the task ahead should come from Narcissus Dren. The ancient elves that ruled before the Empire built keeps, crypts, and fortifications throughout the land. This was one of the last of them before their kingdoms fell. Now all are in ruins, overrun by monsters and rogues. Yes, but dear Narcissus lives for that type of adventure. That is why he needs someone to help him in his adversity, to help rein in his enthusiasm. I can tell you a little about the area. Okay. So, Narcissus Dren. Ah, okay. So that that explains. I hope he's not mad because we actually drop him to Bell at one point. Can't you see I'm busy blending into my surroundings? Elf better, of course. Yes, I could use some help. First, you must know I am the noted explorer Narcissus Dren. 
You know the name, of course. World-famous adventurer and author and all that. <laughs> I've been exploring the alien ruins here at Wendier. Uh-huh. And something went wrong. Things were going along swimmingly. When out of nowhere, my associates, a band called The Recollection, turned on me. I barely escaped with my life. Now I need someone to recover the emblem of the last king. Yes, one of the symbols of office of King Dinar, last of the alien rulers. I thought the recollection would be interested in the discovery. Apparently they were too interested and chased me out. But we're going back and we'll retrieve the emblem. We must search these surface ruins for two types of things. My own irreplaceable notes and any information of the recollection's doings. Those wood elves must have some papers about here. Mission orders, reports, or correspondence. I should never have mentioned the emblem of the last king to the recollection. They sent a large contingent of helpers and drove me off. The emblem was part of the regalia of the last alien king, Lelorian Dinar. You know about King Dinar? <laughs> Who's the King Dinar? Oh, have you not read my books? No. When the last of the alien kingdoms fell, its people and treasures were scattered throughout Tamriel. The emblem was one of the symbols of King Dinar, the last ruler of the aliens. Indeed. I'd heard tales that the last king's five devoted retainers gathered here prior to his demise. The emblem of the last king is sure to be here, protected by the traps set by these five loyal retainers. Official expert. <laughs> Not his dread. I can't believe they're complaining about me. Me! After all I did for them. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Five loyal retainers. Army L. Army L. Excellent! My notes on the five loyal retainers. You know, it would do you well to study these notes. You best saying? Headaches for those of us forced to listen that Dark Air prattle about his achievements. Let's head into the catacombs beneath these ruins to sort through what we found away from this rabble. Narcissist Tren allied with the bad guys. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I can definitely see that. Come here, assistant. Let's take a better look at those documents. Let me see those papers we gathered. Ah, I see. The recollection found an altar but could go no farther. Sounds magical. There's mention of finding vials of blood, some sacred water, and a bottle of ancient wine. Yes, yes, those are our keys. <laughs> it seems my former allies are not doing well without me. Petrification traps, locked doors, giant living statues, that peculiar altar, typical novice stuff. Nothing that would challenge a master of his craft such as myself. 
he has le learned a lot by stepping on the traps. Animated stonework doesn't surprise me. They don't require much upkeep. But this altar, alien design, so it will need some liquid to activate it. <laughs> they have the keys but have no clue how to use them. <laughs> we press on. The renowned Narciss Dren is not deterred by mundane challenges. Let's find this altar they mentioned, and keep your eyes out for any bottles, vials, or carafes they have excavated. The hunt is on, faithful assistant. With those notes, it's clear that the recollection is stymied by that altar. I, of course, know how to activate it. We'll need a vial of blood, some sacred water, and or wine from the things they've dug up. I did say we parted ways. Surely you, as an aspiring explorer yourself, should have caught the nuance. I'm of no obligation to be forthright with the specifics of how all parties came to be here at Windir. The Recollection is a group of wood elf cultists. The alien were their ancestors, or so they believe, and so they seek out treasures of the past. I heard they may also be trying to conquer <laughs> Westwield, but I attempt to avoid politics when I can. Uh, mm -hmm. little, little things. I needed some willing hands and they were eager to help. Little did I imagine that they would desire the emblem more than I. Feel free to read my notes. Though be warned, they are not on par with the quality of my published works. The hunt is on, faithful assistant. This? This is a walk in the park, a stroll through the meadows. I've diced with Daedra and fled before undead hordes. There's nothing here we can't handle, and by we... I mean you. Yeah. Heed my sage advice, assistant, and there will be no problems at all. You might even learn something. The hunt is on, faithful assistant. I knew something was off about the dark elf expert. Sneaky looking cur. We've lost so many to the traps. Had that fool warned us about them, Givens would have never been petrified. What is this? <laughs> Assistant, don't you have anything to say about getting me caught up in this noxious mist? <laughs> you were the one to trip the trap. <clears throat> oh, hello. Another of our recollection friends, eh? He stepped on that grate too, I see, with more permanent results. A shame he isn't as skillful and dexterous as I. This could have been me mere moments ago. Thank the gods for my quick reflexes. Best be on our way. Keep an eye out for these greats if you would, assistant. Here we are, the sacred water, drawn from a spring in the very heart of an alien sanctuary, I don't doubt. Oh, the recollection has no regard for proper excavation procedures. Elf better, my usual assistant would be shocked by such disarray. You know that Wendir means journey in alien? It could be a journey to the afterlife or some other destination for the ancient elves. Ah, 
It's amazing what you can learn from me. Note the three bowls. We need to put all three items on the altar, then anoint it with the proper liquid. Come, let's make haste in finding all of them. Three of the loyal retainers! Stand back, assistant! I'll speak their names and command them! Okay, this can Lord only Navarro, end badly. Parhelia! Balip Palin! Yon! And, um... Hang on, I don't know that last name. No, no, wait! Assistant did write it down, so let's not compare. Turn to the altar. I'll go ahead and dust myself off a bit from the battle. Take the wine on your way out. We'll be needing that. The contents of this bottle, they've been partially used. Have they been drinking on the job? <laughs> well, of course. Holy wine, what to do with it? Drink, of course. A moment, assistant. <laughs> Thanks to my dazzling intellect, I have deduced that we should anoint the altar with sacred water. Assistant? Apply the sacred water. Simple. Sacred water goes on an altar. It's quite obvious. Any fool would see that. When you have been at this as long as I have, you develop a sixth sense for these things. Place all three items on the altar, but we will use the sacred water. Trust me. If you would place all three items that we collected onto the altar, and now, Anoint the altar with the sacred water. With this, our way is opened. Excellent! Wait, nothing is happening. Is it broken? Do I have a broken altar? Surely the sacred water must be the solution. I'm sure of it. That didn't work. Assistant, try another offering. That did it! <laughs> why, why did it? Um, just as I predicted. A tribute to the wine shared between the retainers upon their arrival. Good job following my instructions, Assistant. I'll make an explorer of you yet. No. I'm going on ahead. Onward to discovery. And here we are. The emblem. But it is sealed away by magic. Surely these tiles, pressed in correct sequence, will remove the warding spells on it. That carving looks important. It is some form of epitaph to the five loyal retainers. I'd venture it's crucial to releasing the emblem of the last king. But of course! You'd be a fool to think that a treasure hunter as respectable as myself would have no experience with a simple tile puzzle. What we encounter in Veloth Dump in Vardenfell. Yeah, that kind of ended bad. Hmm. You know, it does seem quite reminiscent of that. The tiles are the same, but if I recall correctly, Veloth's solution was on the walls. 
Perhaps the solution to this one can be found within this epitaph. I could, but let's think of this as a teachable moment. A final examination, so to speak. You should work this one out on your own. I'll be here to supervise. Right. The Narcissus Dren is no stranger to a puzzle, but can his assistant exhibit the same prowess? Let's wait and see. Go on now. Read that epitaph. Begin. <sighs> Do not five lore and retains remain ever vigilant after walking the path of the emblem. Okay, so this is the this is the one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. West. One, two. The path is now clear, and the emblem of the last king calls to me. Come, look at it. It's marvelous. Floating there, just waiting to be taken. Any final notes, assistant, before I commit history? Uh, flower, flowers to the grave. Now, assistant, we have found the emblem of the last king. It's been waiting so long for me to recover it. Step aside, assistant. The great and wise Narcissus Dren will now seize the emblem. I intend to present it to my assistant, Elf Beta, at her southern camp. Yes. That sounds sufficiently thrilling. Now, assistant, step aside, fool of an assistant. Do not disturb me or I'll have you demoted to a footnote in my next book. <laughs> you stumbled through much. And now your reward is to watch me finally grasp the emblem of the last king. Don't let me stop you. Ah, the emblem at last. I've bested those recollection fools. No, a trap. It's that petrification gas. Take the emblem to El Beta. I, I. Okay, that's an artist train. Emblem of the last king. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to get worried. Delightful to see you remain in one piece. Some of my dear Narcissus collaborators do not survive the experience. Uh, tell me, how did you fare? I have only uh, good news and good news. Excellent. I've arranged payment for your efforts. Did Narcissus come with you? I know. Probably still taking notes for his next dissertation, I expect. Uh, should I go after him? Eventually, I suppose. He gets cross with me when I fuss about him too much. I need to take my leave shortly. Nasa should turn up any time now. Perhaps I should go looking for him. In any event, thank you for your help. Nasa is, is uh, otherwise di indisposed. He sent me ahead to deliver a emblem. Oh dear. Should I wait here? Should we go after him? I, I don't want him to think I believe he needs constant oversight, but he does get so wrapped up in his work. Ever the thoughtful scholar, my Narcissus. Very well, I shall do as you say. Is there anything else I may do for you before I take my leave? I need to take my leave shortly. Narsa should turn up any time now. Perhaps I should go looking oh, for him. Yes! Vardenfell, wasn't it? I feel more at ease knowing I can entrust Narsa's well-being to a friend. 